How you doing? This is John, and welcome to John Long Box. This is a box full of defective video games. I don't know where this box came from, but I've had it for, I'm not even going to joke, I'm going to say 30, 40 years. And it is still, this box is one of the strongest, most solid boxes I have. Defective video games. But anyway, this is a continuation of Defenders. Defenders. I don't know, uh, just waiting on responses. Do you guys want me to flip through every comic in the box or just like randomly pull out the long runs? But this is continuing the Defenders. Don't know what else to say. Other than this, this series is bittersweet for me because I just have memories of my cousin Kathleen buying me these comics. Like I said, a lot of comics just back then on the newsstand you couldn't find a certain area and it just I don't know what it was but it just seemed like whenever I went to visit my aunt we would go to local places and it just seemed to be Defenders comics you know they had all the other stuff but I got all the other stuff at my house you know but Defenders Ghost Rider Shang-Chi and Doctor Strange and Power Man Iron Fist they just seem to be the hard ones to find in my area. Now, I don't know if that, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, I wonder if that meant that they sold out quick in my area or if they just didn't get shipped to my area. I don't know. I don't know. And here's the second series. Kirk Busick, Eric Larson. Yeah, just, just wasn't that good. It was just nostalgia bait. His giant size defenders. This was good. This is uh, the same team that did the Justice League. You know, this is uh, Keith Gifford, Dean Matas, and, and Keith McGuire. You know, it's a wonderful art. But it, uh, the humor that, it, it at this point, the humor was getting uh, stale. You know, nothing ages well. They say that humor doesn't travel well over time and distance. And I have to agree. You know, humor really is... A snapshot of the era. I mean, look, look at Andrew Dice Clay. When I was in, what I guess early college, he was the uh, selling out stadiums. Now, now, who knows? Kirby Demons. These are excellent. This, you know, Kirby. Kirby had a really uh, impressive run of creativity when he was with uh, DC. You know, when he went back to DC. Remember, he was at DC before Marvel. This I love. This is the Matt Wagner demon. And then this, the rest of the boxes, this demon series. You know, this is Alan Grant at first. And then I got it with Garth Ennis. I got it to Garth Ennis with a Preacher. And then from Preacher, I went backwards to got everything that he had to do. So I, he got to Demon, so then I had to get the Demon from the beginning. You know? When I'm a fanboy, I'm a hardcore fanboy, you know. And Garth Ennis thought, you know how Groot says, I am Groot? He introduced a character called Bator. And he just said, I am Bator. I am Bator. Years before Groot. So there you go. They stole from Garth Ennis. All right, see ya. Bye.